My name is Tatiana De Maria and we're at Comic Con 2019. Um, I was randomly in Cuba smoking a fat cigar and then I met a guy called Craig Titley. Um, fast forward two years, I'm back in LA and um, Craig Titley is an EP on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So when I was back in LA, I was there for a week doing business, um, met up with Craig and we started talking about creative projects and he was like, I want to put on a show. And I was like, okay. Um, he's like, are you touring? Can we put on a show in California? And I've got all these ideas. And I said, all right. And uh, one thing led to another and he's like, I really want to make a comic um, where you're a superhero. And I said, all right. And he sort of pitched it a bit sheepishly going, I don't know if you'll be into this. I'm not entirely sure. And I was like, no, I would love to, let's do it. So we started exploring um, different artists and storylines and basically ended up piecing it together in time for the show. And it's called Going to the Go-Go, which relates to uh, the show I played at the Whiskey A Go-Go. And it was just awesome to make. Really, really fun to put yourself in a different world and amazing to see yourself as an illustration. We co-wrote the comic together. Um, and I think, you know, we only had eight pages, so we were basically trying to cram as much. I'm sitting there going, I want it to be really dark and deep. And Craig's like, we've got eight pages, got to keep it light. It's, <laughs> this, is, this is all the space we've got. So we basically made a marriage of, of what we could in that space. But what I'm excited about is doing more comics and now going deeper with it. So we've been talking about the next steps and making the story deeper and delving deeper into the character and, and the entire world, which is fun. Well, it's funny because everyone who reads it says it sounds exactly like you. So um, being observed by Mr. Titley was quite funny because he would just take a lot of the things I say normally and like was popping them into the script. And so when I read it, I was like, oh man, okay. So it, a lot of it, the way I speak is in there. A lot of the things I say are in there. Um, in terms of, like I said, depth, uh, I like to just dig deeper and get a bit darker. So that's the only thing I think I'm, I'm really excited to delve in on. The rest of it was just really fun. I mean, the, the story we had a lot of fun making. Craig is, uh, um, did mythological studies and has a PhD in mythological studies. So tapping into that with the nine muses in the story and expanding on those different aspects was amazing. Bringing them in, having a dream sequence. Um, it's just, it's all basically us piecing our brains together and going, all right, it sounds like you, but Craig going, I think this is a really good idea. And me going, okay, cool, but I think this idea of a robot god is completely fucking bonkers. And there are people on planet Earth doing that. So let's, let's explore that. Um, so there's a lot of ideas where we scratch the surface essentially here. Um, but yeah, that's, that's how I feel about this comic so far. It's, it's a bit of a taste and an introduction and a really fun exploration into me um, sort of choosing the art and seeing how I feel and how I feel as an artist. I mean, being represented in a comic, how that ties into the music and also, you know, spandex and lycra. You know I want you With your legs wrapped around my waist I could have loved you Like nobody else But you're trying to play your hand at a game So I, I got a text of a sketch and um, Craig had sent it to me uh, and I had big boobs and big lips and a big booty and I was like this pawned out comic where it was just like, hey baby. And I was like, fuck no. I was like, Craig, let's take the boobs down about 17 sizes. Like my booty, it does look that good, let's keep it. Um, a joke. My lips were just, I was like, this is too, this is too um, babelicious, just like tone it down. May, I, I'd like to look how I do look. I want to keep it real. I want to keep it simple. Um, you can, again, lycra, make my thighs look good. I'll take it. Love me some spandex. But aside from that, I uh, just wanted it to be, to be real. I think that's a big part about my music as well, is always wanting to be as honest and possible, as honest as possible. Um, we've been at Comic-Con for four days, hardly sober, and it's been, it's been a long run, so the brain is still readjusting. But uh, yeah, the, the music, I think, the thread for me musically is keeping it honest and keeping it real. So to do anything but that in the comic would have felt like it wasn't really tied into the musical aspect and wasn't following the vision. So, so that's basically what we ended up doing, making it look more realistic. And I think they did. A, I think Celo did an amazing job by making me look like me and making me feel like me, down to the details on my guitar. 
Well, we, we wanted to have episode two done for Comic-Con now, uh, but I was on tour and in the studio, so we didn't get a chance to finish it in time. But we've been discussing what we want to do with it and how we want to proceed and all the next episodes. I know that Craig is ideally looking at perhaps doing a monthly episode and a recurring thing where we have just build it out into a comic series, which I'm super excited about. Um, and then again, that gives us a chance to delve deeper into the story. So there's that aspect of it. And then the acting side has been interesting. It's taken me a bit by surprise. Um, we've had some interesting things come our way. Uh, I'm not sure I can really talk about any of that, can I? But uh, but it's been it's been interesting. So so I don't know yet, but we'll see what happens there. Um, well, I'm just finishing up some tracks in the studio at the moment, or I've just finished a few. We're finishing a few more, so I'm super excited to start releasing music again in the fall. Um, we're looking to be on tour either by late fall or beginning of next year. Hopefully that will all pan out. But basically, a few tracks to start with and um, working on the album. So. That's the thing I'm most excited about. Whether I end up dividing it into two EPs or doing a full album, however we release it, the idea is to release it, I mean, for me, as soon as possible, because I'm itching to get it out. But, uh, but yeah, I think the next six months hold new music, more tours, and, um, and more comic work, I guess. See how, how that pans out. Instagram is the thing I'm on most. Come hit me up, say hello. Uh, Facebook. Uh, Twitter a little bit but then check out the music on Spotify and iTunes that means the world to me YouTube as well where you can find music videos and there'll be a bunch more stuff to come hi my name is Tatiana De Maria and you've just been buzzed <laughs>